simply doesn't develop at the same time. We've all heard tales about the birds and bees. And whatever version you may have been told, the message was always about sex. Even in the digital age, people still manage to connect with partners. And in Alaska, our reported numbers of sexually transmitted diseases are on the rise. And we've had a little dip in case numbers and case counts in 2011 and 2012. But we can't get excited about that because at the end of 2012, the case numbers for both chlamydia and gonorrhea have started to creep back up. And it has continued to creep up in the first quarter of 2013. Noticing the increase in these numbers, a group of health organizations launched the Wrap It Up Alaska campaign, hoping to get people talking. There's two different messages for a younger group. It's mainly healthy relationships, half a conversation, and then it's for an older age group. It's very much more specific about, you know, use condoms, practice abstinence, get tested for STDs regularly. Supported by modern day technology, with the use of Facebook and Pandora, the messages of safe sex are spreading. Maybe three months ago, we had about 500 page visits on a weekly basis, and now we have like close to 3,000. The root of the campaign lies in the I Know Mine website, where individuals can request free kits for STD testing, find doctors near them, and request free Alaskan-themed condoms. We're trying every avenue to reach especially young people with education about not just uh, STD, sexually transmitted diseases, and HIV, but also about healthy relationships. There's a, a lot of different designs that are supposed to be appealing, interesting, and funny so that people get engaged and they're interested in the topic. While Wrap It Up Alaska is designed to engage young people, it certainly does not discriminate with its use of clever wit. Victoria Taylor, your Alaska Link.